Hello. Oh, that's not working. Sorry, Facebook. Hold on. I'm trying to bring Instagram on here, but it's not. Hmm. Hold on one second. Why is it letting me? There we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I have this pretty out. Okay, let's check my connection. Hey, everybody. Happy Feeling Fab Friday. It's a Friday night, and I'm coming to you late. Um, lots going on today, so I couldn't make it on earlier, but I'm here. And I'm feeling festive, and this will be my last feeling, my last feeling Fab Friday for the year because I'm headed home to Canada to be with my family on Tuesday for the first time in seven years for Christmas, and I'm just going to focus on being with them. So today, uh, the Feeling Fab Friday is about BS beauty advice. So I do these series every once in a while. So I'm just cleaning off my <laughs> my. Uh, webcam. I do these series every once in a while to kind of dive into BS beauty advice. I call it, you know, bullshit beauty advice kind of stuff that is thrown at us that either doesn't work, is toxic for your health, or just not true. And, you know, I am just like you in the sense that I want to look fabulous. I, you know, give myself some help here and there to, you know, make myself look good. Now, I do believe true beauty comes from the inside out. So, that's where we have to start making sure you're getting the right minerals, the right, the, the right supplements, etc. But we're going to talk a little bit about um, about lashes today. So a lot of people lash uh, extensions are very popular, and um, they get them done. And then you know, a the glue that is used to hold on the lashes can be very toxic. You can have allergic reaction. And if the wind blows the wrong way, you can like kind of start it up again. And anything we put on our skin or near our eyes or in our body gets absorbed into our body. Okay, so we really have to be particular about what we're putting on our, our skin, our nails. I'll talk about this in a minute. And all those other things because it can affect our endocrine system and lead to toxicity, which is one of our main issues in health and being sick. So um, the first thing that... I want to talk about is lash boosting serum. So there's a lot of them out there and you know basically you use them to grow the length of your lashes. Now there are some that don't work and there are some that do work. And there's one particular called lash boost that really works when you use it. I mean these gals their eyelashes are like tangled. They're getting tangled they're so long. So it definitely works but my question is uh, at what price? Um, so one of the things that is used um, is uh, a, 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 a chemical called isopropyl. I can't even say it. That's a sign you should put on your body. Chloprostinate, and it is a prostaglandin, and prostaglandin affects your hormones. They're basically um, cyclic fatty acid compounds that have various hormone effects on the body, so they can cause spontaneous um, uterine contract contractions and signs of too much postglandins around your period would look like lots of cramping and even having more diarrhea slash bowel movements in general. Um, and, you know, it was something I looked into just because it's proven to work, but at the end of the day, that's not something I want to put on my body um, just to have long lashes. So, uh, I looked into some various methods that I have adopted to kind of help with hair and hair growth in general. So we'll talk about lashes specifically, and then I'll talk more about hair growth and thickness and all that. So always your hair is a reflection of everything else that's going on in your body. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But basically, um, I found a couple things. Now, this um, serum is called Woo Lash. I don't know if you can see this. And I looked up pretty much every ingredient in here. And there's really only one that's a little bit compromising. But it was more rated as like a two or three on the EWG scale. If you don't know what EWG is, you should definitely check it out. You want to go to ewg.org backslash skin deep. And you can search in any product that you have or any ingredient that you have in a product, and it'll tell you exactly what it's doing in your body, what it's contributing to, et cetera. So this one looks okay, but I'm still not 100% sold on it. So um, the other thing that I do uh, to help with lash growth is um, 
castor oil and you want it to be the black African castor oil. Okay, you want to be black castor oil, not the clear stuff. That stuff is going to be used for, you know, when I have my clients do liver, um, liver uh, castor oil packs. This is a little bit different. So I blend it half and half with fractionated coconut oil, at half, uh, like a quarter of that, and then the rest of it is just straight up black um, castor oil. And I meant to grab the bottle, and I didn't. So if you all can hold on one minute, I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to um, get the bottle specifically because I wanted to show you there's lots of different castor oils out there, but a lot of them tend to be in plastic bottles. And just like everything else I want and tell you to do, you should be using glass because plastic is going to kind of contribute to the xenoestrogen problem, especially fat. Any fat, any type of oil that's in plastic is just kind of absorbing the properties of that plastic and lodging it in the fat cells and then you're putting it in your body. On your body, in your body, all of that. So any sort of fat or oil should be in glass. Point final, whether it's MCT, oil that's supposed to be really great for you, whether it's olive oil or castor oil, glass is what we want. So this is the black castor oil. Um, that I recommend to use for eyelashes. And again, I, I just got one of these um, glass droppers and you can mix the, the castor oil and the fractionated coconut oil. I just kind of like to do a blend of both because coconut oil is also great. And then I actually use one of these brushes from uh, the, other, the other lash serum. I wash it off typically and I use it just to apply it to the line uh, of your eyeliner where you would put eyeliner like next to your lashes so um, this is great and then you can also use the dropper it's just gonna make it a little bit thicker but this stuff is great for growing lashes naturally and uh, it really works and can kind of help boost everything forward you can also put it on your eyebrows if you have like thinness of eyebrows and I do want to say if you've got like low levels of eyebrow hair on the outer third of your eyebrow out here, that's a sign you have thyroid issues. So we want to look at like a bigger reason than just, you know, putting serum on for anything. So this is first, the first thing I can practically recommend to kind of do your lashes naturally is to put castor black castor oil and fractionated coconut oil, which you can get through doTERRA um, is what the company I use. I'm sure Young Living has it too, but fractionated coconut oil is basically just coconut oil that is liquid form instead of being in a solid and then you can apply it to your, your lashes. You can put this on bottom and top lashes. Nothing toxic in here. You can totally trust it, and it really does help the hair growth. So um, let's talk about uh, mascaras next before I go into like real things that you should be doing to you know help your hair and your health in general. But um, there are a lot of different mascaras out there. A lot of them are really toxic. Again, go to EWG. Uh, org slash skin deep write in your product and it will come up and tell you how great of a hazard it is so this one product I used to use for years and years and years, and years because I loved it and it really worked it was called L'Oreal double extends mascara and it, it was like two tubes you put one white stuff on and you put the black stuff on and it worked but um, <laughs> once I looked it up on EWG I found that it was like had one two three four level eights in it and level eight is pretty toxic so they've got a scale from one to ten of like how toxic and bad stuff is and of course the eights and sevens were parabens um, which can be really to toxic causes allergies immune toxicity endocrine disruption developmental and reproductive toxicity uh, eschato or ecotoxology and um, causing biochemical ce cellular level changes yeah those are serious things that this these kind of parabens um, can cause by putting them on your body. It also had, um, you know, uh, a different paraben that really was an endocrine disruptor. Um, and they also use, uh, what was the other thing, formaldehyde. Cool. Um, no big deal. Uh, so, yeah, there's like all sorts of things in here that <laughs> are really dangerous that you shouldn't be putting on your on your body. 
And, you know, these are just allowed in our products. Nobody really stops them. But we're not really educating ourselves either about what it is that's in there. So polysorbate number 80, another one used in that mascara, organ system toxicity, contamination, um, all that kind of stuff, irritation of the skin, eyes, and lungs. Uh, let's see, what are the other symptoms on here that it can do? Um, yeah, so basically look up your products and figure out what it is. Oh, cancer, yeah, the formaldehyde releaser one, formaldehyde. Um, so that one was a big cancer causer, and they'll show you a scale of the overall hazard of how bad it is and how low, moderate, or high. So everything on here was pretty high. Um, the cancer was like in between low and moderate, but who wants to have a low level of cancer for effing mascara? Not me, personally not. So look up what's in your products, figure out what you're putting on your body. Now the ones that I recommend the most are, first of all, the cleanest of clean is gonna be Beauty Counter, a company called Beauty Counter, and they just came out recently, and they've got a lot of great products that are very, very clean. But how well does that mascara work? I don't know. I've not tried Beauty Counter mascara, um, but it is the cleanest that's available, one of the cleanest that's available out there. Um, so you might want to check you might want to check that out and uh, see whether or not you are interested in that. The ones that I have tried that are less toxic and have less uh, compromising ingredients are going to be this one here by Tarte called Gifted. It's an Amazon clay mascara. Again, I looked up all the ingredients one by one, and there was one on here that was a four on the scale, a little bit more, less risky than an eight or a nine uh, or a seven for that matter, but still something that you might want to not put on your body. But but uh, I have um, tried this one, and I feel like it works, and it's made from Amazon and clay. It's really clean. There's no parabens or anything like that in here, so I, I like this one. Um, the other one that is very similar formula to that that also has biotin in it that can help with the eyelash regrowth, especially if you've had low levels of growth in your eyelashes or you did extensions. It's called Superhero by It. Uh, it also has low low levels of the four um, as uh, disrupting chemicals in, in the mascara. So um, the other one I've heard that's great is Lily Lolo from the detox market. Um, I have a gal who recommended that one, one of my clients. Um, but you know, most importantly, just start being aware. I've also heard good things about Thrive Cosmetics. Um, I haven't personally looked at every single ingredient in that one, but it looks pretty clean from, from my observations. But again, um, my encouragement to you is just look up your products and see what's in it and then decide whether or not you want to put that on your body. So that kind of covers it as far as mascaras go. Um, and again, look into what you're putting on your body. Grow your, your lashes naturally. Grow your hair naturally. Um, I was just going to mention something about this. So nail polish too can be extremely toxic from the fumes and you know what it's doing inside your body. Um, I don't paint my nails on the regs because I don't like having the chemicals on me. But when I do for a special occasion like Christmas, I get um, a dip. So a nail dip, which is way less toxic. It's powder and it doesn't have any fumes along with it. It has no parabens in it, and it's way less toxic for you to get done on your nails, and um, it's not as bad as gel for you. You don't have to be under a UV lamp, which can give you age sunspots and cause skin damage. So that's what I get done is a dip if I'm gonna do it, or there are some other non-toxic nail polishes out there, but you really gotta look for them and bring your own bottle when you go to get a pedicure. Uh, that's something I've done before as well. So, you know, it's just about being creative. It doesn't mean you can't have fun, you can't wear makeup, you can't, you know, get glitzed up now and then. It's just a matter of like checking and knowing what you're putting on your body. Educate yourself, right? That's one of the most empowering things to do is start looking up ingredients from the food that you're putting in to the stuff that you're putting on your body. Start looking it up and figuring out what it is, what it's doing to your body, and whether or not it's good for you. Um, so the other thing I want to just talk about is in general, minerals are king when it comes to the body. You got to have good amounts of minerals in your body. That's what causes good hair growth. That's what causes good energy. That's what causes the body to be able to produce all the lovely things. And they really are needed with your vitamins to work. So minerals are king in the body. And I think, oh, I thought my computer just died, but it didn't. Um, so you want to get good levels of minerals. Now, I am starting to offer hair mineral analysis testing to my clients, which is like 
awesome. It's a very cheap, affordable test. Some of my testing, like GI map, it's expensive. Um, it does show me a lot of stuff, but hair mineral analysis is rather on the a more affordable side. Actually, actually gives me great information. Now, they can be misread a lot, and people will say, oh, you've got low levels of uh, you know, calcium, so you just got to pump up the calcium, but that could not be true. It could be about how fast your body's excreting it, and it's really important to really know, work with someone who knows what they're doing, but checking out your mineral, hair mineral analysis is a great way to figure out what you're low on, what your body needs, and how to do better at it, and some things you can do to kind of just do better in minerals and, and copper toxicity and toxic metals in the body is have a great water filter, uh, make sure you're drinking clean water, and I'm not talking about the Brita. Uh, I, you need something that's like on your in your system. It can't be something that takes minerals out of the water because it's going to strip the water from everything good. It needs to be something really good that works really well. Berkey, Pure Effects, something like that, and on your shower head. Um, I have a filter on my shower head as well to help get rid of any toxic stuff that's coming in from the water. The next thing you can do is supplement with some minerals supplements. Um, and unfortunately, this is the day and age we live in that our soils are depleted. We're not getting the food that we used to get. So everything is depleted. So taking some supplements for minerals can really help. And this is actually really great for athletes too. If you work out a lot, you sweat a lot, if you're doing sauna therapy, any of that, this stuff is going to be great. It's called 40,000 volts. And uh, it'll really help boost your energy. It's got magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, sulfate, all, all the big ones that are going to show up on the hair minerals analysis test. So you can try this and see how to introduce it slowly, see how you feel, if it helps anything. If you're sweating a lot, it's a good one to use. And this other one is great too called Oceans Alive. Um, and this is going to be a great thing to try. It's, it's phytoplankton and it's all natural. So anything that's toxic in here or toxic in your body will die off and you'll be able just to absorb the pure pureness from the phytoplankton. So it's great stuff and uh, something worth giving a try just to help your body be absorbing its minerals properly and getting what it needs to grow your hair to make sure it's thick. So that's like, you know, a great sign of hormonal health when you have lots of gray hair um, in the right places, right? It's frustrating when you're growing hair on your face as a woman and when you want it on your head and it's leaving your head and that can be related with androgens, high androgen levels, pushing down the alpha pathway, having more kind of hair other places and having less hair on your head, which is the exact opposite of what we want to do. But again, just like anything else, if you've got those levels of androgens, there usually we can track back in the body and figure out why. It's not just a coincidence. And you know, with hormone testing, all that is great. But really, we're looking at the surface issue of why you have excess estrogen. You know, you're great, you have excess estrogen, but why? And then when we get down into the hair mineral analysis testing, we're going to see more specific of what you have imbalanced in your body that's causing some of that, causing some of the gut infections. So the hair mineral analysis test and the GI map are two of my favorite tests to offer to my clients to really get specific about what's going on in their body to get them results. So um, my Get Your Body Back program opens on January 1st. And this is my last Feeling Crap Friday video of the year. So I wanted to offer an opportunity. If any of you want to jump on the phone with me, I have some slots open tomorrow and Monday to chat about joining Get Your Body Back and how I can help you with this, this testing, how we can figure out what's going on deeper in your body and get you some of the results that you need to feel at home in your body and amazing in your own skin. So... Uh, if you're interested in doing that, you can direct message me either here on Facebook or on Instagram and we can set up a time to chat and I can tell you all about it. And if you're interested in seeing how it works for my people, you can look at my testimonials tab on Instagram and see all the people that I've helped and how they're doing. So um, I just wanted to wish you all a happy, happy Christmas and holiday season. I hope you have a great time with your loved ones and stop put putting toxic stuff on your body and start looking at what's in your products and uh, get to the root of the issue, like why you're not absorbing minerals properly and what's toxic in your body keeping you from absorbing your minerals properly and whether you've got gut infections and go from there. Okay, so I hope you guys have a Feeling Fab Friday and uh, here's to Merry Christmas and the New Year and I look forward to helping you feel amazing in 2019 and beyond. Have a great, fabulous night. Bye-bye.